Hi everyone and welcome back to The Hair Necessities. My name's Lisa Marie. I am not a hairstylist. I am just a dance teacher who has spent a lifetime learning how to do creative things with hair. It is my goal here to get you to be a little bit more adventurous with your own hairstyles for classes, rehearsals and performances. Today we are going to do braided space buns. So space buns is a pair of buns. Now they can sit anywhere but I like to do them right on top of the head because it gets all the hair off my face, gets all the hair off the back of my neck and gives me a little bit of height because at five foot I'm rather short so it gives me a little bit of a boost. Let's get started. We're going to need a little bit more equipment than we did for last week's hairstyle. So we're going to need two of these little hair donuts. We're going to need four clear hair elastics. I use two little uh, fabric covered hair elastics, then two regular hair elastics, so that's eight in total, would you believe, then some regular hair pins that look like this. I don't think it's going to focus, but you get what I mean. And finally, because I like putting a little bit of additional bling into a lot of my hairstyles, I have some Diamante hairpins. So it is a regular hairpin that has a little rhinestone on the end of it. Now you could probably create these yourself if you had some hairpins, some rhinestones and some hot glue. I picked these up off Amazon for a couple of quid. We're going to start by putting the hair into two. So I've got roughly a centre parting. You can make yours a lot cleaner than mine if you would like. So just split the hair down at the back and just tie this out the way. You could do this with a duckbill clasp if you would like, but it's just to get that bit of hair out of the way. So we are going to do a Dutch braid from here back to around the crown of the head. Now a Dutch braid braids underneath. So a French braid you plait middle over the middle every time. With a Dutch braid you braid under the middle every time. I have never try to teach somebody else how to do a Dutch braid, let alone in front of a camera. So here's hoping I get this right. So where's my hairbrush? We're going to start by pulling all of the hair back, just so that it's sweeping away from the face. And we're gonna pick up a little section of hair. Now I like to go kind of diagonally so from the top of my forehead, kind of above my eye, into the parting. And that should give you a little section of hair that you can grab a brush and kind of tidy up if you like, if you feel like there's any kind of knots or bumps. And we're going to split this into three sections as kind of equally as you can. I'm going to do two stitches of the braid first before we start adding any hair in. So I'm going to pass the left section under the middle, then I'm going to pass the right section under the middle. Now here's where we start adding hair in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the index finger and thumb of my right hand to go under the middle section and grab hold of the left side. And I'm laying the middle part just across the top of my hand. Then I grab a slice 
of hair, add it into the section that's between my index finger and my thumb, grab the middle bit and pull. So the bit I added hair to is now in the middle. So I'm going to do the same the other way. So with my left index finger and thumb, I'm going to grab the section that's on the right of the middle section across the top of my hand. Grab a little bit of hair, add it in, grab the bit that's currently in the middle and pull. One more time. So my right hand, index finger and thumb is holding onto the side section. Grab a little slice of hair, add it in, grab the middle bit and pull. Then with my left hand, index finger and thumb, grab the side part, grab a little piece of hair, add it in and pull. And now I'm just going to go back as far as I want to. So now I've reached the crown of my head, I'm going to do a couple of extra stitches because I'm going to put the hair elastic right at the base of the hair. So if it unravels a little bit, we want that extra little stretch of hair so that if it unravels, that's what unravels. So I'm going to take one of these little fabric covered elastics and pop it in right at the base and pull and now we just sweep the rest of the hair up to meet that and now we do exactly the same on the other side If you wanted to, you could leave the hairstyle here. You've got the Dutch braids going across the top into bunches. The only problem is, if you're going to be turning as part of your dance routine or part of your performance, as you spot your head, these tend to smack you in the face. So this is why I enjoy popping them into a space bun. So we're gonna pull one side kind of out of the way we're going to get our donut, pop fingers through, and we're going to thread the ponytail through the donut and arrange the hair so that it covers it. Clear elastic at the ready. And from here we're going to sweep all of this hair so that it heads back over your head. This is really hard without a mirror. <laughs> so what we're going to do from here is we are going to put a regular three strand plait or braid into this remaining hair if your hair is long enough to do this. And it doesn't matter whether these go over or under.
then put a clear hair elastic into the bottom to secure it. Then we wrap this around the base of the bun. ends underneath and then secure it in place with a couple of hairpins. And then we do the same on the other side. We now have our finished braided buns. So on each side we have a Dutch braid travelling across the head with a bun and a braid going around the outside. Now if you want to add any accessories to this, this is the point where you can. I like to get these Diamante ones and pop them up onto the bun itself and just them in so that you get a couple of little sparkly bits. You could also, if you wanted to, put some of those diamantes into the braid that goes along your head as well. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Hair Necessities. Don't forget to like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Send us in your recreations and I will see you next time on the Hair Necessities.